the face of the bank, Peter Schiff. To say that, oh, I'm facilitating tax evasion, why? I haven't benefited one nickel. So why do you think these tax authorities are targeting you? Is it because of your celebrity status? Ask them. Don't ask me. Peter, respectfully, your bank's at the centre of the biggest tax evasion investigation in the world now. These are fair questions. I'm not asking any more questions on the bank. OK. That's it. I'm done. I'll rephrase the question. There's no more questions. No more questions. All right. Welcome back, everybody. My name's Austin. A lot to unpack there. Today's video is going to be a little bit different in the fact that I'm going to play you three separate clips in that 60-minute interview leading up to that eventual Peter Schiff walkout. Because Peter Schiff's bank, Euro-Pacific, allegedly banked known criminals, and he is now part of the largest tax evasion investigation in history. Now, Peter is one of the biggest Bitcoin haters in existence. I like him. I think he's honestly turned more gold bugs into Bitcoiners than he realizes. But regardless, I want today's analysis to be fair on what exactly you need to know what's going on. A tax probe involving authorities from Australia, the US, the UK, the Netherlands, and Canada all allege that Euro-Pacific Bank, the full reserve bank run by Bitcoin skeptic Peter Schiff, provided banking services to known organized criminals and tax evaders with little scrutiny. And the reason this affects you is because Euro-Pacific, a Peter Schiff company, holds hundreds of millions of assets under management. And it's located in Puerto Rico, which is known as a tax haven to Americans, to Australians, to Britons. Less regulation, less taxes. But there is a fine line between these legal offshore accounts, like in Puerto Rico, and hiding taxes from your country illegally. To be fair, these are just allegations, and this Australian reporter asks him about it, Listen to Peter defend himself, saying that if things are happening illegally, it's not through assistance of his bank. What, what we've been told is Australians are hiding their profits they're making in Australia by setting up offshore structures and then using your bank to hide their profits, sometimes their dirty profits. Well, look, I seriously doubt that. So if they, if they certainly find that somebody, you know, evaded taxes and put the money in my bank, it's not because we help them. I mean, how many people in Australia do you think are not compliant with their taxes? I mean, how, what, what's the number? Probably quite a few, but I imagine many of those. I, and I, I would bet if any of them are using my bank, it is a tiny fraction. It's not my bank's mission to administer the tax laws of Australia. Okay. And this is where things start getting heated. Because the thing is, Peter Schiff didn't show up on 60 Minutes today to get questioned about this. He thought that he was just going to talk about the economy and gold. Big picture type talking points. But earlier this year, on January 24th, tax offices from the five nations launched a probe called Operation Atlantis against the bank after Dutch authorities gained access to its customer details in a leak. And since then, this has been an ongoing investigation. And by the way, Call him the old-fashioned, but I believe in innocent until proven guilty. Meaning that if Peter says that, hey, his, his bank isn't responsible for a few bad apples, then you know what? I would tend to believe him. However, the more damning evidence comes in when we start to learn who exactly some of his bank's customers were. The customer list showed that Eurocapital banked known financial criminals, among them Simon Antiquil, whom Australian authorities imprisoned for five years, for masterminding a $105 million tax fraud scheme, Plutus Payroll. Wow. Okay. Well, that's a good question. How can such a notorious crime figure, this man right here, get through the front doors of this bank? Listen to Peter's reaction, and Peter's starting to get a little testy, as he should be. He did not plan for these questions. This guy is pressing him on what happened with the IRS on January 24th, and why are you banking these criminals? What happened on January 24 this year? I don't know what you're referring to. Didn't the IRS pay you a visit? I don't want to discuss all of these uh, questions about the bank or what may or may not have happened. I'm just going to give you a final answer on the bank, and I'm going to say that there is no problem at my bank. There is no proof uh, that the bank is being used to facilitate any illegal activity. Peter Schiff claims he isn't allowed to talk about the J5 action on the bank in January. 
but if he didn't already know it, it must have alerted him to the fact that questionable figures, like Simon Ankertel, were using his bank. How could such a notorious crime figure be allowed to get Look, through the front door of your bank? You're asking me questions that I cannot answer because I do not work at the bank. I'm not a compliance officer. I, you know, I have nothing to do with the daily operations of the bank. Okay. You know what? Let me just play you the final 30 seconds, what it all built to, the walkout of Peter Schiff. But give me your thoughts. Comment below in the comment section right now. And for you Bitcoin holders, watch today's entire video because I want to share with you some perspective on Bitcoin, on criminals banking, on Peter. But watch this. No, nobody has told us that we've done anything wrong. Nobody. Well, you do know the IRS visited you this year. Surely that was an indicator. Hey, look, look. It, that, people can be investigated for all sorts of reasons. That doesn't mean they did anything wrong. What did they say to you when they came, when the IRS came to your business to you this year? What, what did they tell you? Look, as I said, they didn't say that we did anything wrong. What did they say? I'm, I, look, I'm not, I'm not allowed to discuss it per that government. Peter Schiff is rarely lost for answers. I'm not asking any more questions on the bank. That's it, I'm done. I'll rephrase the question. There's no more questions. No more questions. <laughs> But when it comes to the bank, this is, it, Peter. All right. this is ridiculous. This is, I don't even know what they're trying to do. He leaves the final word to his wife. Hey, what was the point of you asking? What, what were you trying to get from this interview? Okay. What do you think? The rich evading taxes, the corrupt banking system is not new by any means. It is not localized to, to this specific bank. I don't know the inner workings of this investigation specifically. In this interview, I kind of felt for Peter in the fact that he's not going to discuss an ongoing investigation publicly. But for you Bitcoin holders, understand that Bitcoin was invented to opt out of this criminal corruption in banking. Because the rich trying to find loopholes, those Puerto Rican, those Swiss bank accounts, that's not going away. What Bitcoin does, it gives the little guy a chance to have those same opportunities. Like it or not, Bitcoin is the great equalizer. Watch this, comment your thoughts. In 2016, President Barack Obama, while discussing cryptocurrencies, said something amazing. He said, it would be as if everybody has a Swiss bank account in their pocket. Yeah? Now, little did he know that that is a fantastic adver advertisement for cryptocurrency. Like, yeah, exactly. It would be as if everybody had a Swiss bank account in their pocket. Yeah, of course, he didn't mean it as something positive, as something that we should all be excited about. He was fear-mongering. Like, imagine if everybody... Oh, could have a Swiss bank account in their pocket. Not just my friends, <laughs> not just all of the other people in Congress, not just all of our lobbyists, all of the executives who pay for our campaigns, all of our weapons manufacturers, CEOs, all of the people I ever talk to, but everyone. Ugh. Like those people. Of course, Barack Obama was wrong, because crypto is not like having a Swiss bank account in your pocket. Crypto is like having a Swiss bank in your pocket, and you are the CEO. Because on your wallet, you can create a million addresses and accounts on your little phone, and you can install institute international wire transfers and you can KYC yourself like 